Well, the truth is, students think they know a lot about me, partly because I, you know, talk a lot and partly because I show up a lot of different places. But I suspect they really don't know me as well as they think. There's a number of reasons for this. For one thing, they often think I'm joking when I'm absolutely not joking at all. And they laugh and they laugh and I think, whoa, yeah, but I didn't say a joke. I just told them something about myself. So I try to always be honest. So for instance, a secret is that I'm always honest and rarely trying to make a joke just to be funny. So for example, when I refer to my spies, when I sp say my spies are everywhere, I'm not fibbing, my spies are everywhere. One of my secrets is I really do have a spy network and it's Shlomo, it's all over. <laughs> In the space of a week, I will hear from people all around the world telling me what, generally speaking, would be considered secret things. If some spy agency really wanted to know what was going on in the world, why on earth would they look at, you know, all the communications of, like, millions of people? They wouldn't have to. All they'd have to do is tap into my network and one set of conversations that they monitor continuously would tell them what was going on in Egypt, what was going on in India, what was going on in Shanghai, what was going on in Tokyo, Hawaii, Silicon Valley, of course, I cover intensively almost every street corner in San Jose has one of my spies ready to report, downtown San Francisco, Berkeley, Canada from coast to coast, including the North Coast. So they're there. I even have my spies, you know, just everywhere, in government agencies, private companies, in charities, in NGOs, and everyone thinks I'm joking, and I'm not joking about that at all. That's one of my big secrets. I'm not sure what to think about this. <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> you see, sure how to react. I'm not sure, Shlomo, you still think that I told you the truth or not, <laughs> but I did. So, you know, I have all these spies. People think I'm joking, but they're really there. They're there all over the world. They tell me things. Do you, you know how important it is for me to have someone who's at the place where an event is unfolding and can tell me what they think? And since the spies, many of them are known to me personally, not just anonymous people uh, that recruited themselves from my classroom, it is so important because the media cannot do justice to someone you trust on site in Egypt, for example, telling you what people are thinking about the unrest there. Or in um, Europe, when the Soviet Union was coming unglued, that was an amazing period of time gigantic empire comes unraveled in the space of a few years. My spies are on the ground. They were in Russia, they were in Poland, they were in Czechoslovakia, they were in East Germany. Hmm. The history that is relayed to me in these circumstances is a precious resource. I don't know what I do with it, actually. It makes me it helps me understand my world, which I like to do, mm -hmm. which I do really like to do. Mm -hmm. it, it, and sometimes I'm able to communicate this in the class. I'm very fussy about people's privacy, so I will not, uh, I will not violate. And some of these persons are in dangerous places, so surely to goodness, I am not going to say something that could ever, in any conceivable way, mm -hmm. a rebound against them or to their, or to their disadvantage, yeah. but to. I've been able to vicariously participate in many of the world's historic events.